Hi, it's Russell here and uh, I'm in my kitchen at Burring Bar and it's been a particularly busy week and so I just thought what I'd do, uh, Saturday afternoon I love to get into the kitchen and, and cook and um, this is a recipe that I've been doing, I first encountered it at a cafe called Marine over on the coast near here uh, at Kings. So the first step in the recipe is to create a uh, caramelised onion and garlic jam. Uh, so what I've got here, you've got my recipe, uh, all my ingredients for the recipe here. I've got some uh, some freshly ground gra gra uh, freshly ground black pepper and sea salt. Got some olive oil, some balsamic vine vinegar, and some really good rosé vinegar as well. I've got some brown onions, some garlic, some uh, some unground uh, ginger here, which I'm going to grind out of our garden and uh, a little bit of brown sugar, some butter and of course my favourite ingredient at the moment, I've got some nutmeg. The most important part of getting the onions right is to actually cut them as into rounds and to cut them as finely as you can get them. You want it on you know, a pretty high heat, uh, your nice butter and oil melting, throw all your onions in. So you don't want your onions to dry out while you're cook them, cooking them so you want to have a little cup of water on hand and if they start to dry out just put a little, a little splash of water in that'll do two things it'll heat the onions up really quickly and draw out some more of their natural sweetness. I've got my garlic chopped up uh, pretty roughly got my nutmeg uh, freshly ground is better but this is just a, a pre-ground one and I've got my ginger those two little knobs of ginger skin on. So I've thrown in the, uh, the garlic and the ginger skin on and sprinkled the, uh, the nutmeg around. You can see now the addition of the balsamic vinegar uh, has given it a really different... So everyone who knows me uh, knows I like to find uh, really different wines to accompany food and um, this one, uh, this is a Proximo uh, Rioja 2009 Spanish wine. The next wine. thing I need to do in order to get this meal together is go out to my garden. I need to pick uh, a little bit of coriander and a little bit of um, English spinach, not silver beet. I need the, uh, particularly need uh, English spinach. I want uh, a little bit of marjoram, but I, my marjoram died, so I'm going to opt for a tiny bit of sage, uh, culinary sage, and some oregano. Over here I've got a new little herb garden starting, so I've got some rosemary, got some, uh, some uh, I think it's Greek basil, and uh, lemon thyme, and some sage growing here, and over the back there I've got some more So here are some of the rest of the uh, recipes, <laughs> or, or ingredients for the recipe. Uh, you can see here some, some really great organic sweet potato, <coughs> so I've put the uh, caramelised onions on the back burner, so to speak, and they're just cooking away happily over there. And now what I'm doing, I've, I've got the uh, I've got the heat, so we don't want to overdo it on the um, on the um, pine nuts, but we do want them to be browned, and that's pretty good. So I'll just return them back to their little container now. That will be absolutely fantastic. You can see now that the uh, the cooking of the uh, onion jam is getting quite advanced and there's not a lot of moisture left in the bottom there. I'm really trying to heat uh, heat all this up now and get the moisture out. So I'm frying off the uh, sweet potato now, just a little bit and of And the missing oil. ingredient is... Yeah, you guessed it. It's a very thin gluten-free pasta. So this is actually a pasta dish and uh, this is a particularly good gluten-free pasta. Now. So the missing ingredient, of course, is some uh, really great, great uh, vine-ripened tomatoes. So I'm actually just about to uh, to try some of the the onion jam. It's um, here. It is here. Uh, it's still pretty hot. So the pasta's in. I've just thrown a little bit of olive oil in there. No salt. I don't use salt in the pasta, but you can if you want to. Uh, and I'm turning the timer on to about. Eight if it minutes. was um, fresh pasta, it would of course co cook a lot quicker in two to three. So I'm putting the, uh, just dressing it up with some sweet potato, which is going to give it some sweetness. And um, some of the mixture of uh, 
the really beautiful spinach from the garden, English spinach and coriander. And then, uh, of course, some of our uh, saged and oregano oven roasted tomatoes over the top, which will give it some a, a beautiful texture. And then uh, some, of course, of our roasted or dry fried pine nuts, which are going to give it a crunch and a beautiful texture through the meal, which uh, you can't get unless you add something a little bit nutty. A scoop of our extraordinary uh, onion jam on top, which is going to give it a whole uh, other complexity of flavour. Then we want to add just a, a little bit of our a little bit of our goat's cheese that we can we can actually mix through. It's a really high quality Australian uh, organic goat's cheese. Really, really. Once again, another whole another layer of um, flavour and texture. Some grana padano to give it some sharpness and bite. And then, last but not least, just a little bit of salt and pepper on the top. Just a just a pinch. And that, that's the meal. I'm drinking this really great Rioja, this Spanish 2009 wine. Cheers, enjoy. We're going to sit down now and enjoy. As I said, I'm a geek, I'm not a chef, but uh, this is what I do on the day off. Mm. Wow, that's good. Bit of everything on the fork. Now that really works.